Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be starting our Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon playthrough. Before we begin, I'd like to thank each and every one of you that continue to support my channel, continue to watch my content, because it is only because of you that I am able to have these opportunities to play these games early and bring this content to you. And naturally, I would also like to thank Bandai Namco for sending me an early review code so that I could get started creating content for the game. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's jump in, shall we? Okay, we got the brightness setting. That looks good. Sound settings, those also look pretty good. Network settings, sure. Not really going to be doing a whole lot of PvP. Oh, pilot name. All right. Huracan. And here we go. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. Time to get to work, 621. I'm powering down your entry capsule on my signal. Oopsie. Seems like we made a bit of a, a bit of a crash landing there. Descent to ISB 2262, Rubicon 3, complete. Your position is grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Okay, tutorial time. Let's have a look at that UI. Main system, activating combat mode. Okay. Looks like top left is looking okay for the for the camera for now. Actually, no, we should go top right because there's objectives on top left. I might have to swap this around, uh, so my apologies for that. Let's go ahead and just do this. All right. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that was pretty sweet. That was just pressing L3. That was great. Okay, so we can hold that X to ascend. It's been a while since I've played uh, an Armored Core game, and back when I played it was just Armored Core 5, but... Whiffed it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna require some practice. Little bit of practice here, boys. Give me a second. Still familiarizing ourselves with the controls. Some actions consume me and energy, and are disabled when the energy is depleted. Yeah, but it goes back pretty fast. Okay, circle goes into your regular movement mode. 
Alright. Targeting controls. The reticle will automatically target on-screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center of the screen will prioritize. Move the camera to change a priority target. Oh. Alright. Clear out those guard mechs. Fire right hand weapon. I just love boosting. Target assist keeps your <clears throat> AC oriented towards target. Okay, this is lock on. Want to be careful not to fall there. Missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder. It's capable of multi lock, so we hold it and then we release. I've actually gotten hit quite a few times. God, I need a I need to get unused to just pressing R3 to run. Yeah, I didn't feel like that was going to be it. Repair kits. Okay. Repair. See the contaminated city down there. That's where you're landing. Contaminated? Access the catapult. Oh, that one over there. Okay. I really need to stop doing that. It's just circle, bro. Obviously, I feel the need to explore every little nook and cranny. See if I can find anything hidden, but this being the tutorial and all, we're probably not going to be finding anything. Once I get my muscle memory away from just pressing L3 for everything, it'll be great. Okay, so that's going to be a triangle to access as well. Let's access the catapult, see where this takes us. They've been using really good, um, they've been making really good use of the dual sense so far. I like it. Talking about the HD rumble and stuff? Really nice. Ah, uh, look at that. Let's go! Time to fly, 621. If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. Oh, so we're stealing somebody's mic, uh, somebody's, uh, tag, basically. Okay. Quick boost. L plus square. Okay. See, this is what, one of the inputs that I was looking for. Get out of the way, bruv. Dude, this thing handles so smooth, though. Oh my god, this is silky smooth.
It's like the control has just the, it feels like just the right amount of momentum to it. L3 assault boost, okay. Picking up signals from AC Rex. Follow the markers. Okay. Can't wait to swap these legs for some tank threads. Frontal assault, my strategy for everything. got quite a few missiles, I just noticed that. I thought it was way more limited. Droid spying on me, thank you very much. I still haven't used hard lock on at all. Like the soft lock on for these um, smaller enemies, friggin' perfect. They're not happy about me being here. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm gonna need to know where the melee button is, which they still haven't told me. If there's a motion blur effect, I need to check up on that. I gotta use rockets more often, that's what that's telling me. Extract the pilot data. I'll analyze it from my end. License code Monkey Gordo. What the hell? Gordo in Portuguese means fat. <laughs> fat monkey. <laughs> Expires in 15 days. Okay, so we got 15 Still days. Valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. Oh, okay. Use this. Never mind. Looks like we can't be Monkey rank. Gordo. God, I love the sense of speed you get from doing this. Oh yeah, while we're here, we'll just very quickly take a look and see if there's like, um, motion blur setting. Graphic settings. Uh, no, there's nothing for motion blur. Because there's a lot of motion blur happening. Bye bye. Yeah, I 
I need to be using missiles more. Looks like they're bailing out. This guy's a little bit tougher. All right. We're getting a little bit more familiar with how these work. Let's actually get to the spot, shall we? Let's see this one. G7 Hakra. Uh, Restriction, call sign, rank 22D. Balaam Industries expires in 12 hours, so let me guess it's too low time. Corp license, easily traced. Forget it. Oh, it's a corp license. Okay. Really digging the soundtrack too. It's got that vibe we've been seeing in the trailers. It's really nice. No, it's not, guys. Trust me. Where? How do I use the blade? L2. Okay, finally. Yeah! Oh, that was nice! I thought it was gonna be, um, L1. Turns out it's L2. Okay. This one should be the one. Monkey Gordo one sounded nice. Thomas Kirk. License expired. Affiliation independent. Okay, so it's not this one either, because it's expired. This one's already expired. Yep. Give me some more. One more rec, six, two, one. Talk to me. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. Oops. That was so bad. Oh, that was so bad. Uh, how many, how much ammo do we have? We still have a few, because I'm like, I just want to go kill stuff. Like, there's a bunch of dudes over there. But yeah, I got to focus on mission. Got to stay on point. I'm going to take the, um, the high road up here. If, I, if they let me, even. I was looking at this to see if I could actually go inside the structure or something, but no, it doesn't feel like it. Alright, it's all the way over there. Yeah, we're gonna need an assault boost there. And even then, it's still gonna take forever.
You can really cover a lot of distance. Ooh, vertical catapult. You can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. Very well. That's it. Try accessing the wreck. What have we here? God damn. I'm in no mood to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now and they won't have enough to ID you. Flight hat ammunition at 30%. AP hat 50%. AP at 30%. Wait, which one was it? Was it not left D pad? Oh, it's up deep pad. Okay. Use your mobility in the air to get clear of explosions on the ground. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Good lord! Time for the first death montage, boys!
got him. Raven. License code extracted from AC wreck in the contaminated city. Contains the pilot's registration data. Rank F. Affiliation independent. Expires in three days. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Okay. So, here's the interesting thing, right? I looked at the, at, you know, that boss was, uh, it was the first time we were actually fighting a boss in AC6. And the interesting thing was that initially I thought, oh, this is going to take a while. I'm going to have to figure out, you know, how to actually tackle the enemy and all that, figure out its patterns. I started, you know, I started thinking that this was going to be kind of like a long drawn out fight. It's like, no, if you do, if you play your cards right, it just goes super fast. The moment I noticed, oh, damn, his health is going down really fast. It was like, what, third attempt? Maybe fourth? I, I don't know. You guys will see it in the edit, but yeah, pretty cool. Expenses, 68k. Damn! Probably because I died, right? I'm assuming that's why? I don't know. Okay. Illegal entry. You've now infiltrated in Core, Rubicon. A sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit. Poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis. A storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return. To stoke the fire. Registration number. All mine. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Looks like you passed the authentication. Raven. That's who you are now, here on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. Oh. Following features now available. Sortie. AC design. Emblem acquired. 13. Tenderfoot G13 Raven. Head. Milander C3. Melander, okay, bunch of parts we unlocked, I guess. Very well. Let's take a look. Yep, here we get to customize our AC. Okay, we don't have anything that we can put there. We got nothing we can put there, so basically, yeah. We can't really do much yet. Oh, okay. So this one, we get more AP. System recovery is worse. Boost speed is worse. It's basically more tanky. Tanky-er. Sure, we'll do that. Hardware engineer. 
tank here. Rugged. Sounds good. Tool arm. We're going for the big tanky boy, straight up, off the bat. Ooh, we are pretty much at the weight limit. Okay, we can't swap boosters, can't swap that. Okay. Looking pretty rugged there. Sounds good. I'm not really going to be messing with a lot of these at this point. Oh, this is for like um, loadouts, I think, maybe? Oh, no. Sortie. Missions, replay missions, training, AC test. So if we do the training missions, they said they'll give us parts. Basic controls. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to do these training missions off camera because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, really. Oh, let's do the whole tutorial thing and whatnot. And uh, then I'll show you guys the parts that I've got in the next episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, the playthrough of Armored Core 6. I realize the first episode is going to be uh, quite clunky because it's my first time playing AC in quite a while. But hopefully you guys will enjoy it nonetheless and all of the content that I'm going to be putting out in regards to AC 6. And if you do, hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification icon, all that jazz, because there's plenty more coming your way. See you guys on the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.